So, folks, in case you missed it last episode, <laughs> Phoenix was just <laughs> felt up by someone who was, I kid you not, twice her age! Holy cow! Uh, traumatized. That was screwed up. So very icky. That was... That was wrong. That was... I still blame you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, warning! This episode contains more subject matter of a sexual nature. Of course, we're gonna continue. Oh. This. Should be good. Early in the morning, while you are still groggy from sleep, you rub your legs together. <laughs> and notice that you feel very good. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I don't know about this. Cause no, literally, I don't know what she's talking about. What the hell does that mean? That sounds more like something that would happen with a guy. You wonder whether or not you should stop and keep doing the whether you should keep doing this or stop. You can be embarrassed slash anxious or curious. You know what? <laughs> Considering what's already happened, go for it. Yes! Mm. Alright, <laughs> stop what you're you doing. You were just a little too excited about that. It's a little creepy. Uh, I, I'm trying to envision you rather than a seven-year-old. That, that makes it okay. Uh, stop what you're doing or continue what you're doing. We're going to continue, obviously, because you're curious about your sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> I still understand how rubbing my legs together would cause such Just... a feeling. Oh, uh, okay, continuing. Continue. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you feel a hot, tingling feeling between your legs that spreads all over your body. The more you rub your legs together, the better it feels. You oh, who wrote this? You wonder whether you should, whether to continue doing this. Keep rubbing your legs together. Stop what you're doing, or, and I quote, touch yourself with your hand. <sighs> the only advice I will give right now is that if anything's worth doing, it's worth doing right. <laughs> and this is worth doing. Let's go with the third option. No <laughs> All right, the actual third option is different. I just gave the funny one last. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just have one thing. I need answers, Phoenix. Please, please, please tell me this is how you wake up every morning. Please. No. Damn it. Son of a <laughs> bitch. It also doesn't involve rubbing my legs together. I don't even, I literally, I seriously don't understand how that produces that feeling. I, I really don't know either. I, I, no, the, the other woman here doesn't know either. I, and I don't know. For a guy, maybe because there's no. something there between no, no. the legs. No, I'm, no, it wouldn't for a man. I would see it being more effective for a woman. I don't see why, I mean, your this legs together would do anything. It, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't sure. work. I don't know. I assume <laughs> this was written by a man who didn't know <laughs> how girls got into that <laughs> kind of thing, no I guess. Idea. <laughs> He's probably the guy who was. In, he was freaky. He was probably some guy. The guy who was trying to feel up women in when he, seven year olds when he was fourteen. All right. As your body gets warmer, you notice some goosebumps on different parts of you. As you rub, you begin to get a little nervous, wondering what's going to happen. All of a sudden, your body gets tight and shivers for a few seconds. Um. It feels weird and good at the same time. After this, you feel tired. Even though you may have never heard of this word, you have just done something called masturbate. How do you feel about this? <laughs> I just love how it just said it. Like, by the way, in case you were completely unaware of what you just did. You've been jacking off. All right. <laughs> you can feel guilty about this or fine. Fine. You're comfortable with your own sexuality. That's good. <laughs> this is the beginning of exploring your sexuality. No, the beginning was when you were molested by someone twice your age. <laughs> I was going to say, I think the beginning was when I was molested. Like everything else that has to do with sex, people have all kinds of opinions about it. As you grow up, you will find that you have to choose among these opinions for yourself. Where things like sex 
are concerned, it is best to have all the information before deciding anything. All right. That was awesome. <laughs> Those two questions have been the best part of the Let's Play so far. Yay! <laughs> a famous dairy product company is sponsoring a baking contest. That is just a random transition. Complete scene change. It's like, you just masturbated. Oh, by the way, there's a bake sale. You okay. get up, okay. rub one out, and then begin to concern yourself with a baking contest at your school. That's what I want to do. Yeah. That's how it works with us females. Yes. I figured as much, but it's just good to have some confirmation. <laughs> All right. Uh, your school. The first prize is a new bicycle and a trip to Disney World. Your mother is the, your mother is the world's best cheesecake baker. You know that getting her to bake the cake for you would certainly tip the chances of winning of the contest in your favor. You can be devious, honest, or neutral. Honest. You can get your mom to bake the cake for you, try and bake the cake yourself, or do not enter the contest at all. Try to make it myself. You try very hard to duplicate your mother's cake. It comes out very tasty, but it is not good enough to win the contest. Your family is proud of your independence and your effort. Trustworthiness and familial scores rise. That was just a complete seam change. I think I have whiplash from that seam change. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh. Masturbation baking contest. Me. Awesome. That's how it works in real life. Yeah. <laughs> While looking at yourself in the mirror one day, you begin to realize... Oh, now you begin to realize that you are beginning to get a chest. You are not exactly what anyone would call a voluptuous. Holy cow! Uh, you're seven! <laughs> Alright. But the thought crosses your mind that it might be time for you to begin, to begin wearing a bra. You can be daring and excited or unconcerned. Excited? You're excited about getting a bra. Fantastic. You can ask for a, you can ask for a bra or wait a little longer. And I shouldn't make fun. I was very excited when I got my first bra. <laughs> um, ask for it. I want my self a bra. <laughs> you wait until mom is in a good mood, and then nonchalantly mention that you have boobs. Oh, and then nonchalantly mention that you think it's about time for you to begin wearing a bra. <laughs> Your mom tries to convince you that you're still too young to wear a bra. You can persist, give up. Give up. Oh, come on, you need a bra. <laughs> persist. <coughs> Fine. See, you just make me pick stuff. I want a bra, bitch. <laughs> Eventually she gives in. Although she would much rather think of you as her sweet little baby. What? <laughs> I think that image is gone forever in most of our minds. Well, if technically the story of I'm like over 14 <laughs> has some issues. Your mom sighs pensively and realizes you are growing up. All right. So, let's let's follow the train of events for a second now. <laughs> 1. You were molested by someone twice your age. Twice <laughs> 2. You masturbated. Three, you entered a baking contest. Four, you got a bra. Yeah. This is stuff Steinberg didn't do. I wonder why. Man. Seriously, who made this game? Oh, man. The character hasn't even menstruated yet. We're getting to that section later. There is an elderly woman who lives in a house up the street. Everyone calls her the witch. Some people say she's really paranoid, calling the cops on kids all the time and screaming out the window even where there, when there is nobody there. At night, she keeps her light on all the time and sits looking out the window. For the past few days, the light has been off. Some of the kids think she's just dead. 
<laughs> or something. Well. They jump in front of her house and sing, Ding Dong, the Witch is Dead. There's Though, some messed up people in this neighborhood. And laugh. You can be sad or happy. Sad. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Sing with everyone else or try and see if anything is wrong. Try to see if anything is wrong. You know, because a human life has ended. Oh. <laughs> One afternoon after school, you look from outside the gate from outside the gate to see if there is anything going on inside the house. There is nothing. You can go through the gate and knock on the door, ask a friend to go with you. Go through the gate, knock on the door. You hear a voice call out from the back of the house. Go away and leave me alone. Get off my damn lawn. <laughs> you can say, I'd like to know if you're okay in there, or quit trying and leave. Ask if she's okay. You hear nothing for about 30 seconds. Finally, the door opens. The woman looks pale and dazed. She seems smaller than you imagined, and very delicate. In the corner of her almost bare living room, there is a television set. Beside it is a large box of old rubber balls and toys that were left, or had accidentally fallen on her lawn. She asks you why you have come. You mention that you noticed that the light has, been, has gone out, and you thought that she might need some help. She explains that she is no... That she has no way to replace it. She is too old to climb up and do it herself. You can. Ask her if she would like you to do it, or excuse yourself, now that you know it's just a problem with a light bulb. Ask if she wants my help. She thanks you. Her face softens. While you are fixing the light, she tells you a very sad story. No more sad than the broken remains of your childhood. A long time ago, she had a little girl very much like you. Who got molested, <laughs> asked her maid, and entered a cooking contest, and then got a brawl? <laughs> so... At the age of seven? So polite and so kind, and so horny, apparently. She says her daughter was beautiful, and repeats it over and over, as beautiful as a picture. She and her husband lived th with her, their daughter not too far from the train yard. She used to tell her child, Anne Marie, stay away from the tracks or you'll get hurt. More than hurt. It's a freaking train. <laughs> One day, her daughter and her husband went out to play catch with an old ball. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Good okay. job, husband. All right, that kind of made sense for, like, the male version, but... This is the female version. Anyway, the ball got away from Anne and rolled across the tracks. If you can't see where this is going, you're not that clever. <laughs> While she was chasing it, her foot got wedged between two rails. Her father and her struggled to release it. And they did. It was just a couple of years later, they both died of cancer. <laughs> oh, but before they could, they were both struck by a freight train and killed. How often does that actually happen? What is the actual amount of freight train deaths in the United States per year? I don't know. Like, none? Why would you ever be killed by a freight train? Anyway, she's been alone ever since. Whatever. When you are finished fixing the light, the lady gives you some milk and freshly baked cookies. It almost seems as though she doesn't want you to go. Before you leave, you put her out of her misery or just <laughs> <laughs> thank her and go. Oh, sorry. Thank her for the cookies and ask if she would like someone to do odd jobs. Or thank her and excuse yourself. Thank her and excuse myself. You have done a kind thing for this woman today. It's been years since her last visitor. Your friends ask you questions about the lady in her house. Weren't you scared? Didn't you think she would go crazy on you or something? You are beginning to learn about prejudice and ignorance. Apparently. <laughs> they, they always make a perfect pair. Okay? Oh, boy. It's coming up, isn't it? Um, a neighbor asks... A neighbor approaches you and asks if you would like to make some extra money babysitting. You evaluate the job. It is highly nerve-wracking work. The child is a beast. Uh, for a $20 per week payoff. Wow, that's low. I get paid way more than that. Um, interested or uninterested? Uh, I guess interested. It's better than Walmart. Accept the responsibility <laughs> or reject the responsibility? Accept. 
After your third week of work, your friends plan a trip to the mall and asks if you would like to come along. Jamie's mother will be driving, but the trip will occur during the time when you babysit. There is no way you can squeeze the two events in on the same day. You can refuse the trip to the mall, take the baby along to the mall, or ask, or ask your neighbor if she would mind getting a replacement. Blow off the mall. You're not going to the mall? The, the second one sounds just dangerous, like that's just going to end horribly. And then there would have been, then if I choose the third choice, then every other choice I made is useless. Alright. If you use the trip to the mall. Well, you still would have made $60. Yeah. You stay and babysit like a responsible person. At this point, how much money will you try to put away in the bank every week? About five dollars, about ten dollars, more than ten dollars. More than ten dollars. You should put all of it in the bank. It's a smart thing to do. Your saving habits are it are admirable. You accumulate three hundred dollars. Hell yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm hoping this isn't the one I think it is. Oh no. You're relaxing in your room one day when you notice a slightly wet feeling coming from your pants <laughs> and a small stain, round stain between your legs. When you check to see what it is, what is happening, you notice that the stain is red, then realize that it is blood. Mm -hmm. You can be embarrassed, slash nervous, slash confused, or calm. Um. You know what, girls are weird. If I ever woke up in a pool of blood, <laughs> I would be freaking the you hell out. It is. I'm just saying, if I woke up in a pool of blood, I would be freaking the hell out because I was either mortally wounded or had just killed a man. <laughs> well, see, obviously your daddy would never tell you, by the way, at some point in your life you're going to have something called a menstrual cycle. Anyway. We women are told this, so we kind of expect it. Oh, oh wait, that's what that well, was. Again, what well, then me. again, your mom is, is pretty neglectful. There's a fair <laughs> chance. You don't know what the hell's then going on. Then maybe I read it in a book, because I'm smarter than she is. Yeah, right. All right, you can call mom for some help, or you can handle the situation. How the hell would I handle it? I have no idea. You've probably been doing tampons <laughs> for a while now. I don't know. Ask mom for help. Ask because mom I clearly for... wouldn't have... If it's my first time, I wouldn't have anything. I don't know. You're already masturbating and getting felt up. Who knows what you're doing? All right. <laughs> mom take... Mom she take... No, she hasn't explained it to you yet because mom takes you aside and explains that you have just started menstruating. This what? is the beginning of a new time in a young woman's life. There are times when it will be seem uncomfortable and distressing. It may... Okay. Get, it may even get downright painful and make you tense and irritable. Mom explains that as you get older, you will just learn to adjust to it. Yeah, my mom told me before, so... Yeah, well, your actual mom is hopefully not nearly as neglectful as your alter ego's mother. <laughs> For a time, you feel a curious mixture of sadness and joy at being grown up. <laughs> I don't, I have no idea what it would be like to menstruate, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't, it isn't accompanied with a curious mixture of sadness and joy. Um, some people say that this is the beginning of womanhood. Oh no, please tell me you're not going to watch a video on your changing bodies. Uh -huh. that is, and that is scary too. Getting used to all the changes in your body makes this time of life difficult. It's like walking into a house that you've known for years and finding all of the comfortable furniture has been replaced by new pieces. I guess. Yes, game. That it's is delivered by a man because yes, that's exactly. That's exactly what it's, what it's like. like to fence. <laughs> it's like walking into your house, but all your comfy furniture is gone. <laughs> I think that's the most apt metaphor for men's creating. <laughs> that I've ever heard. I would heard. say a better metaphor would be it's almost like going into labor. Almost. But not quite. Not quite. It'll only get worse, actually. Anyway. 
What a retarded game. <laughs> Stupid guy who wrote this. Okay. Knows so, something about women. So now let's follow the chain of events. Okay. Uh, molested by someone twice your age, masturbated, baking contest, bra, menstruating. No, you skipped the lady, I helped. Oh, yeah, and you helped an elderly woman and babysitted and got $300. And then I menstruated. <laughs> and then menstruated. <laughs> I apparently grew up after all that. <laughs> okay. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Earning $300 is clearly required for female menstruation. <laughs> it's just a proven fact. It is springtime, and love is in the air. Oh, for God's sake, can we have one episode off? <laughs> Do you think so This guy clearly has a, a very obvious view of women. Apparently, your character is just a massive cockhound. Holy cow, think about something else for one second. Think about a baking contest. <laughs> I don't know, you have been thinking about Rob Nelson night and day. Ew! <laughs> and finally have mustered the courage to write him a secret admirer note. Rob is every girl's dream. He is? I thought Russell was, or Mark. Once again. What happened to these people? Did we they have die? To, we have to go back to the Will fact- they hit my freight trains? We have to go back to the fact that your character is obviously a giant slut. No, Holy I God. think they each hit by a freight train. <laughs> you think about nothing but men. And you move on to a new one every week. All right. Because they were all hit by a freight train. <laughs> he's almost 13. Okay? At least he's younger than your first boyfriend. <laughs> has a big has big blue eyes and is captain of the soccer team. Mm. You can be confident or hesitant slash ambivalent. Confident. You can throw the no away. Give the note to his friend to deliver. Leave it. Uh, throw it away. Give it the note to his friend to deliver. Leave it in his book, or walk right up and give it to him. Well, it wouldn't be a secret admirer letter if I did it that way. What kind? Of, that makes no sense, game. It's a secret admirer letter. You don't hand it to him. Put it in his book. It's All supposed right. to be secret. Have That's you ever actually? Get... Has anyone <laughs> ever? Has anyone ever actually given a secret admirer's letter to anyone? I never have. I never have. No. Never had a secret admirer. No. Well, I've, no, I've had a secret admirer, but I've never been someone's secret admirer. Really? Interesting. Anyway. You made an inappropriate response. What? Okay. No, game, you made an inappropriate choice. Because that's stupid. It can't be a secret admirer letter if you give it to them in person. Oh, whatever. It's you're confident you're going to go right up to him. Let's just get this over Why with. Why his friend? I like your style. According to your so, to your status sheet and social skill, according to your status sheet, your social skills are strong. Rob is flattered, but regrets to inform you that you are simply not his type. How do you Douche. feel about this? No biggie, or I'm crushed. Crushed. You're crushed? Come on, you move on to a new man every week. I'm crushed. <sighs> okay, you're crushed. Aw, oh, poor little pumpkin. Alright, it seems that your social skills are just a cover-up for a lack of confidence. You are the type who does things for other people, and not yourself. Examine this in yourself, and see if it makes sense to you! Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, as long as that's how you feel about it. <laughs> oh, there's another health one coming up. Let's do that. This should be good. Unless it's not menstruating. <laughs> no, it's not. An aggressive girl from a tough crowd starts, and how old were you? Like, you were like eight? Holy cow, that's really, really young. Um, starts an argument with you and challenges you to a fight after school. Everyone whispers about the big fight. It looks like there will be a lot of people watching. You can be frightened, tough, or unaffected. Unaffected. Unaffected? Come on, be tough. Shut up! Be like Rocky. No, I don't want to be like Rocky. He's stupid. Oh, poor Rocky. <laughs> Alright, you're unaffected. Do you show up after school or not? No. Oh, come on! No, I'm going to leave her standing there. Tough it she out. She's thinking about being stupid. <laughs> Fighting is dumb. You're just going to be a w labeled as a wuss. Come on, you need to stand up for yourself. You need to punch your lights out. 
and possibly get brutally injured. <laughs> oh, come on. You've already been brutally injured by one person. Do you remember the doll <laughs> incident? You were willing to fight her. Probably the same bitch. I'm just trying to take it back from her. She's the one who beat me in the head. It's probably the same girl. You can beat her up and take the doll off her desiccated Fine. corpse. Alright. You're gonna be tough and show up after school. The girl shoves you hard, knocking you off balance. She scratches you in the face and neck. She's much more used to this kind of thing than you are. Suddenly you, suddenly you see that she has left herself off balance. You can smack her or scratch her. Scratch her. No, smack her. No, scratch her. Hey, I want to you know her what? Pain for days. Yeah, but that's not gonna do anything. She'll just beat you. I mean, scratching doesn't knock you down. I mean, smacking will. Fine, oh, smack her. There you go. See, Son Eric didn't listen to me when he was fighting his his boyfriend, so, um... <laughs> and he got beaten up. Your hand smacks hard against the girl's cheek. She is startled and out of breath. She looks at you and her friends and begins to cry. They walk away... They walk her away from the fight. You won! Okay. Bum bum ba da dun 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 I still feel like I'm stupid. I need to find a new good one. Anyway, you ask mom if you can go to the ha to the to a party at the house of a friend whose parents are away for the weekend. She says no. Of course not. She never lets you do anything that is the least bit fun. You can be obedient. Defiant or crafty? Obedient. You don't want to be crafty? No. Alright, obedient. You could go away, stay home, or ask dad. Um. Ask dad. You made an inappropriate response. You want to change mood or action? Fine, change to crafty and ask dad. There we go. Dad half listens, says, sure, sweetheart, have fun. You can have second thoughts or go. Well, he said I could, so go. You can't figure when your mom gets so worried about. When you arrive, all the best people are there. Before long, some of the boys begin to get a little rowdy. Oh, come on! One... <laughs> One episode off. That's all I ask. Oh. A neighbor, who is also a policeman, looks in on the house. Before long, the whole neighborhood, including your folks, know what is going on. You are grounded for a month. For what? <laughs> I didn't even do anything. My dad said I could go. It was not my fault he didn't listen to what I was asking. I don't know. Well, he was a policeman, right? There was probably minorities there, and he planted drugs on them. <laughs> <laughs> probably. The latest craze is wearing a dog collar around your neck with a t-shirt proclaiming your dog name. You have just spent what? five... You have just spent five dollars on a shirt that says Fifi Rex. Why? The Mad Mongrel. <laughs> and have borrowed one of your dog's collars. On the way out of the house, your mother says, Do you think you're going out, going to school with that ridiculous get-up on? You can be attentive or inattentive. Attentive? That's probably a good idea. You can walk back into your room and put on regular clothes, or you can walk out of the house quickly, making believe you don't hear her. Oh, uh, you can put on regular clothes. Once you are back in there, you can put on regular clothes and hide the old ones to change into later at school, or you can change and forget about the outfit. Can uh, change and forget about the outfit. Your friends at school say you have no guts and refuse to allow to you to pack with them. Pack? Oh, that's retarded. How I have stupid friends. How do you feel about this? Depressed or I guess I'll get over it? I guess I'll get over it. Once you are away from the group for a while, you realize that most of the school thinks they are a bunch of jerks. We're idiots! They think that, too! You find a new bunch of friends who are more willing to accept you for what you are. 
Not an idiot. Okay. Ooh, we have to do... Oh, we can fit this one in. Who is the founder of modern chemistry? Louis Pasteur, A. Lavoisier, or uh, M.M.E. Curie? B? A. Lavoisier? I can't even pronounce that. I thought it was Louis Pasteur, and I entered that in on Stein Eric's, but it didn't... It said it was incorrect, so I'll go with yours on this one. See what happens. You are correct! Yay! Who is the founder of modern psycho psychiatry? I'm not <laughs> even going to give you the answers to this. You should know this. No, you're not giving me the answers. Oh, come on. Freaking guess. No! Who is the that most... takes the fun away. Who is the most famous psychiatrist in all of history? You have to give me the options. That's the point of this game. J Brothers, <laughs> C Young, or S Freud. And by S. the way... Freud. And if a single one of you out there is th thought it was Jung, then you're an idiot. It's Jung. S. Freud. You are correct. Who was the first American in space? Alan Shepard, Gus Grissom, or John Glenn? I don't know. Who do you think it is? A? It actually is Alan Shepard. Yay! You are correct. Who is the inventor of the telegraph? This one's easy. Is it Marconi, Franklin, or S. Morse? C. Yeah. It's Morse code. I mean, you know. <laughs> who was the Austrian? I'm pretty sure on Dynarics I might have said Australian. Uh, who was the Austrian-born founder of the Ethical Culture Society? If a single one of you says Arnold Schwarzenegger, I will have to beat you. Is it Adler, Wundt, or Teichler? A? It is Adler. Yay! Uh, correct. Yeah. I'm good at guessing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you didn't know that one? Freaking. No. Who takes over as president if both the president and vice president die? This one's easy, too. Is it the Speaker of the House, the Secretary of the Treasury, or the Secretary of Defense? Do, 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 what was the first one again? The Speaker of the House. Do, 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 the Speaker of the House? Correct. Yay! There you go, you got them all right. Hooray! All right. I'm a genius. <laughs> right. <laughs> With my epic guessing skills. You have just seen a fascinating movie about horses. <laughs> Okay. Why do I have the horrible feeling this is going to lead into you talking about how much you want to ride a giant stallion? <laughs> Knowing you. <laughs> they look so incredible. So incredibly neat. Imagine just climbing up on top and riding around all day long. Oh, come on. You can learn to jump and join competitions and shows. Uh, uh, or you could just take care of it and be its friend. You could be excited, neutral, or depressed. What? Excited, neutral, or depressed. Why would that be a... Why? Are you excited about a horse, neutral about a horse, or depressed about horses? I'm excited Do horses about depress horse? you? Do horses depress you, Phoenix? <laughs> no! Excited! <laughs> You're excited. Like every girl your age, you want a pony. You can beg for a horse, drop hints Wait. about a... Aren't I like... According to the story, anyway, not what my actual age. Aren't I accord, like supposed to be like in my teens? Uh, yeah, I think so. Anyway, you can beg for a horse, drop hints about a horse, or no, you'll never get a horse. No, I'll never get a horse. Actually, <laughs> you um, we're actually aging downwards. We started at the top because with Stein Eric, I started at the bottom and went up. So in order to get the different questions, I start at the top and I go to the bottom with you. Well, I do a few at the very bottom first, but then I go to the top. <coughs> oh, I forgot. We're out of time, so we need to do this one quick. I guess dreaming about a horse is better than nothing at all. All right, that's over. 
So that's it for this one, and hopefully it recorded right, because the menstruating and masturbating was fantastic. <laughs> so, the one time these folks will hear that from me. So I'll see you guys later.